Hey guys, it's about uh, 6 o'clock in the morning. Um, welcome back to the 3D Printing Corner. I'm Jason. Uh, this is going to be our next series in the uh, Budget or Bus Filament Reviews. Um, recording a little early today. I wanted to get a video out to you guys today, so I thought I'd record one quick before I go to work. Uh, today, we are going to be reviewing 3D Salutech. Um, this is one I've seen talked about on the forums a few times. Um, I got a roll of it. And it's it's okay stuff. Um, comes packaged nicely on a nice roll. Um, it's a sturdy roll. Uh, you can see I've been through quite a bit of this one. Um, quite a bit of this roll. It's a full one kilogram roll. Uh, it runs uh, about seventeen ninety nine on Amazon. Um, I printed a lot of things with this, um, everything from, um, you know, bender heads to, uh, I printed a Saturn V rocket with it, um, that was actually relatively tall, but nice thin walls, and it printed beautifully. Um, here is the maker coin for this particular one. Um, you can see a little bit of the artifacting in the layer lines there, but all in all, it's not bad. Um, no elephant footing at all. Um, a tiny little bit of issues on some first layer stick. You can see some of the bumpiness there. Um, it just doesn't necessarily lay down the absolute smoothest, but it's pretty good. Um, the details on the lettering, um, very crisp. Uh, no stringing at all. Printed at my standard 205 uh, hot end with a 60 degree bed. Uh, of course, on the model price maker Select Plus. Uh, the points are all very nice along the edges. Um, the flat is, it's, the finish is a little rough on the stuff. It, it's a little, when it prints, it's a little gooey, um, I think is a good way to put it. Um, for those of you that have ever printed with PETG, you know how PETG is sticky. Um, it'll when it's when it's molten, it'll stick to anything, including your fingers. Terrible stories, um, but it'll stick to anything. This isn't quite that sticky, but it's it's close actually. It, it will gum up around the the your your nozzle and things like that really easily if you're not careful. Um, it does. Dimensionally, run very accurate, um, 1.75 millimeter. I think I measured it anywhere from 1.71 to 1.77, um, measuring along about 10 feet of it. So that's fantastic. Um, like I said, no elephant footing at all. Uh, a little bit of layer line, you can just barely see them, but they're there. And a little bit of bumpiness here, you can Feel the layer shifts a little bit. Um, definitely more than you could on the inland PLA. So yes, it's a little bit more than the inland PLA. Um, it's about the same price as inland is if you were to order it online. I called inland budget. I would say this one is too. Um, given the choice, I'm going to pick the inland PLA every time. But, if this is what you can get, and this is an Amazon available filament, um, this one's available in more, I know inland some countries seem to have some issues getting a hold of it. Um, this one, that doesn't seem to be an issue as far as I've heard. Um, it does go on sale sometimes. Um, I've seen flash sales on this for $12 a roll. Uh, so if you see that, absolutely buy up as much as they'll let you buy. Um, it prints nice. It's a nice solid color. The gray is a nice, um, not super shiny, somewhat muted gray, but it's still got some, some sheen to it, but it doesn't, it's not really reflective. Um, so it looks nice. Um, it works really well for mechanical type parts. Uh, I've printed things with hinges in place in this and they work just fine. Um, it releases everything really nicely. 
Um, so yeah, this one, budget. Um, like I said, not, not as high of a budget, and I will go back and I will rank all of these in order. Um, all of the, my filaments that I'm going to do after this series is done, we'll do a video of that. Um, so like I said, it's not as budget as the Inland. But it's still good, and it's still a budget filament. It's a, it's a nice filament to work with. Um, prints easy, sticks to the bed, pops off the bed. It, it just it does just work. Um, so this one definitely budget. Go out buy it. Um, if you like what you're seeing, definitely click the subscribe button down below. Leave me some comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. Hear what suggestions you guys have. Um, you know, just uh, let me know. And uh, this has been Jason. This is the 3D Printing Corner. And uh, hopefully uh, I'll get this video edited and up posted yet sometime today. Um, it's going to be a long day at work, so I'm not quite sure that's going to happen. But I will do my best. All right. Thanks, everybody. You have a good day.